Okay, so uh, thank you all of you very much, the ones who survived the whole day of full-on Lithuanian circus. Uh, and it's very lovely that last year I moderated a talk of Baltic circus shows, and it was three or four shows. Today we have six Lithuanian shows and I think that uh, proves the development of circus which I would like all of you to thank you for the hard day that you did and uh, yeah so it will be quite hard to discuss uh, or somehow to combine uh, all of your very different shows so we'll try slowly let's talk about the starting point and uh, let's start the about the shows that were concerned mostly with objects. So it's Closer Than Us, Anta Company and Maria. Uh, the two of your shows were mostly concerned with researches with objects, relationship between people and objects. So why? How did you come up with that especially approach? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I started my graduation in Solana with uh, Woody's and then uh, when we gathered together, three of us, we started to uh, research our disciplines and uh, I did the clothes Woody's as discipline at that moment. So from that we spread it for more clothes to combine the whole show. And then we kind of realized that ours were quite similar because they were both like fabric and like hiding and like making creatures and shapes and beings out of fabric. And I need clothes very much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very much. <laughs> all clothes very much. So they're all the hot clothes. <laughs> like the one thing that all tied us together. And also we realized that we have clothes already, so we're going to buy them. So <laughs> but then, practically. then we realized that. Have not enough of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and also, people are very happy to get rid of their extra clothes and they get a new life in our show. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of clothes from other people, or most of our clothes are from other people. Beautiful and good looking. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. People and clothes. <laughs> Beautiful and good looking. <laughs> people and clothes. <laughs> yes. And Maria? For me, it comes from performing for sofas first, and the main reasons were. At first that I had always issue how to feel okay in front of the mm -hmm. public and should I please them or not and why and why should they watch what I like to do and etc. And this relationship was always complicated which with objects with sofa I found very chilling. So when I realized that oh I can perform for furniture which doesn't criticize, don't have <laughs> opinions, I, I liberated myself. So that's one, and then I felt like similar to the sofa, and, and then it's quite And tell us a bit about, uh, because for three years, everybody in Lithuania knew that there is Maria who does stuff for furniture, and sofa became your second name. So <laughs> how was the, pro tell us a bit about the process, how did you manage to find people of the same, uh, fetish and internet <laughs> in other countries. I have no idea except that, so the first uh, software project was mostly for myself, like I really did for finding my own voice, like that I would feel okay, what's my creative side, and then I really wanted really honestly to start working well with others, so not for people yet, maybe next three logic part with the next show for humans even. but this part was like how I would find people like really smoothly collaborate together and then I made this decision and then the universe did it like it's so amazing people join in it's crazy how good and uh, I was really surprised that 67 people wanted to join in and and just like full of people around just started like oh I want I want <laughs> Yeah. Last question about this process. Do you think that the quarantine did uh, help uh, the people to find relationship with their objects? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it was a bit easier because they were already surrounded and being stuck and being confused and all these like relationship issues, how you keep on uh, socializing when you're locked down and you need to do nothing. So yeah, I think it helped a lot. Okay, so next segment is the ones who research the, the, show, the relationship with people. So, Jugas and Yusten, uh, Jugas, in your show, uh, it was very, let's say, very pandemic-inspired, but also very uh, highly related to a very close relationship between people. So, how did a show about distance became a show about connection? Yes, um, uh, it's kind of, I started and then Carlo joined and we developed the idea together. It was more focused on uh, getting back after the quarantine. So we wanted to see, like, because we were feeling that people were obliged to keep themselves inside the houses and we were thinking about making them uh, getting together again. Because uh, this is how we felt also. Like, it's uh, again, I feel awkward speaking with people, so I have to get used to it again. And, uh, this is how we get the idea, like how maybe we can find the way how we interact with each other because we, as, like, uh, we have a lot of dialogue and dance that is like people don't experience much but we wanted to give this experience for the viewers. And how is it to, since your discipline is hand to hand and you're yeah. a base and you don't have a flyer and you're stuck <laughs> in between, yeah? uh, how did you find it? Uh, did your discipline help you find connection with a dancer to create a show? Yeah, so, during the years when I was really studying the work uh, with a partner, it involves a lot of things, it's not only technical, but it's also how to keep the good relation with your partner, studying the emotions and uh, how to communicate in hard situations especially. So it was a big, big step. And and this is what encourages me to... Also, it's very important to see with what kind of partner, partner I would appreciate to work with. So, and how was this then? Uh, yeah, somehow we <laughs> met in a few classes and uh, we already knew that ah, we have to do something together. So as soon as we got the chance... We, 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 so it was more of an accident? Yeah, it's like something that you cannot plan. Like meeting these people is, uh, it's some, some that goes like very chemical and you don't really cannot explain. Wow, well, well, like this. Something that you can explain. <laughs> and the other part is you have to work to keep the good relations. Cool. Just that. Uh, you and Indre come from social clowning. What made you? Uh, or what gave you the inspiration and to make the decision to go on stage? Not social planning, but create a show. So, so this, <laughs> so what, this? What, you, what you told, um, we wanted, wanted to try to go on the stage uh, mm -hmm. because um, we are clowns for like this social way, in a social way. Um, it becomes years. very sad while you talk. Slowly it goes down. Yes. down yes. Yes. You feel it. And your fingers. <laughs> but how and is it yes, different? So, yeah. So we uh, we get children. We uh, we went uh, out from our work like social climbing, and uh, we felt that. We have to do something, something more. We have to try different fields uh, with this uh, with, uh, plan and stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and actually, uh, actually, I wrote to you <laughs> because we had the uh, circulatia. Uh, I still have, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, sport 
because uh, nobody, I do, some of the people are doing uh, clown or stuff on the stage, but uh, we don't have this connection and uh, we actually we don't have um, <laughs> so, uh, so we wanted to try it, mm -hmm. and for this reason, to try it, that's it, all. Does it feel awkward to make a show for people? It was oh. really crazy. Actually, it was really crazy. It was very different. And uh, like in the town, we go up and down, up and down, down, down. <laughs> And down, <laughs> a little bit more down than you feel, than you think that it's uh, down. So yeah, this journey is very hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we now, no, no, no. I have optimism. Now we, I can go up, up, up. Yeah, there's a little bit of optimism. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. And a bit I know. Of yeah, and I know we will go in one day down one more time. <laughs> Very graphic. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, so Costas and Elana, basically uh, both of your shows, from what I've read uh, before I saw them, uh, they started, as I understood, as a research of movement, trying to find inspiration for new movements. And you will correct me if I'm wrong. And I thought that, uh, from the descriptions, I thought that most of you are not concerned with uh, meaning, creating meaning on stage. But today we saw that it carries a big emotional and uh, mental uh, baggage. Yeah, is that the word? <laughs> really? really? Good. Uh, so, how, what inspired you to start this research? Not both of you, you did separate jobs, but <laughs> you fall under the same category. Oh, so for me, it actually also started at Circulatia last year, because in general, well, first I was, uh, when we did the workshop with Alexis, and uh, first his, it was his idea in general, that it's possible to be half an hour on the road without climbing down, and uh, I, then we tried it during the performance on the balconies, and, uh, after I decided just to keep the, the thing, but then just uh, but then to add uh, to, to build a show around it to explore more because uh, that uh, in that workshop it was mostly uh, just staying there showing the passing of time. Uh, yeah, and then kind of. Later, I decided I need I need to push it. I also was talking with Alexis to, to, to on collaboration later on with this idea and hopefully doing residencies and stuff. And um, yeah, same. First of all, I think everybody has the same question. What does it mean the R L and yeah. the numbers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a uh, rope dot long dot forty two. Forty two is a reference from popular culture. Is uh, from I don't know which science fiction movie is that. But so that's so very popular. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's from science fiction somewhere. It was uh, the story that some guys found a planet-sized computer, like, and they asked him the question to the universe, the answers to all the questions of the universe. And it was like took for ages to count, and then it gave the number for the basically that's, that's just like, yeah. it's just basic. Yeah, I don't remember where it is from, but just I, I put it for fun. So rope long, and the answer to all the questions yeah, yeah, yeah. in the universe. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So yeah, and um, for me, I basically I, I didn't do, for example, I didn't search yet for now for the meaning and then my idea was for now to create some baseline for, for this at least uh, period of time. I did, had a period when I was looking for vocabulary, working on endurance in general to carry on things. I did the rest in Barcelona just, just for that. And uh, now I kind of wanted to wrap up like something 
and also if any image and hopefully they appear, but they should appear from my movement naturally, also changing the time of passing, how, how it works. Uh, later on, I'm not sure how the goal in so many ways it can also be developed, and I think it's still quite a part of the, pro of the process, even it's uh, working with it for about a year. But the main kick is like searching for movement that is what? The main kick? I mean, the main kick, I'm not sure what will happen at the end yet. Mm -hmm. Still, I'm discovering usually uh, lots of thinking processes happening on the, in the, when, I'm, when I'm there. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, and then I see, ah, this can be this, this can be that. And also now with the studies, uh, it also should change quite a lot because lots of new things are happening. But you're in the process. I wanted, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the process and I think it's the beginning. I have some ideas to try out with using also different materials, maybe different kind of rope, because I'm quite curious about also destroying the rope in the process. And, well, there is a lot of things to try. What I wanted to do for this one also is uh, get it like really, really enclosed space. Uh, for now, should I open it later? It's, it's a big question. Okay. Should be open up later. Yeah. It's... Okay. Elana, um, your yours derives, if I understood, from uh, memories and nostalgia. Yes. Yes, kind of. It's actually, I did not start from the movement. I started uh, from the text that mm -hmm. also appeared on Circulatio, by the way. So it's a very useful festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I discovered that I'm an influencer, apparently. <laughs> So yeah, and this text uh, started with a personal experience, the first one about uh, finding an inner child inside my head. Mm -hmm. It was my way to cope with the uh, death of my friend. Mm -hmm. So it was really, this process really happened to me, and, uh, and then when I was asked by Roberto just to write any text and read it, I somehow wrote that. Mm -hmm. And then I thought that, oh, it's a nice idea to dig more, and to, I, I didn't want to just leave it there. So I started digging more, and then I started discovering the childhood movements like uh, that I remember from uh, doing when I was little, like how did I cope with the problems back then, how did I like sound from like what I was doing, performing uh, to, uh, like poetry in school and all this, and I decided to collect it all and just feel what I feel while doing them again. And also notice how I still do it, how I still do them, mm -hmm. but in different contexts. So yeah, and then when I saw what was happening, I was quite surprised because like it turned out completely different from what it was uh, like like in my head. Like all the movements, what the, the meaning that I give them is completely different from what I later saw when I recorded myself. Ah, okay. So it was very interesting for me to explore. Yeah, but it's a lot about it's like a psychotherapy. Mm -hmm. It's more work for psychotherapy. It has the uh, impression of therapy. In the, because not, it's not like in a bad way. You don't get sad. <laughs> uh, but also, so I understand that you come from meaning towards movement. Yeah, it's more childhood than grief. Mm. Yeah, I, I I come more from 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 meaning. I would say. And knowing it. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the way that I was saying my name when I was living. Because it was in Ireland, so I, I said Nyon. <laughs> and it's actually really, really hard for me to put this name on stage. Because it's very Because private. it's very personal, super bad. So it was like. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, and by the way, all of you can ask questions because anytime, just raise hands and ask. Uh, because I can talk really, really long. <laughs> I have this, uh, let's not say, talent. Um, so, another question is that, and I think all of you uh, are uh, somehow introduced to that, let's say, problem. Um, the minute you go on stage, 
behind your back is not only you as artist, but since we have not much circus in Lithuania, behind your back is, oh, so this is Lithuanian circus. So, I have... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've only now discovered. <laughs> Name all the clown theatres we have. <coughs> Good. Uh, so, uh, I have two questions anybody, uh, in this uh, subject, everybody, uh, anybody can answer. First of all, what do you think is Lithuanian Circus? Can you identify the Lithuanian Circus? And uh, the second question is, how do you cope with the responsibility that you did not consent to have? but you still have, and some of you for years now represent on stage all Lithuanian. So, two questions. About what is Lithuanian Circus? I think I'm and Lila should answer because you see it from the side. <laughs> 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 that and she's gone. Sorry! 
that's my opinion. Uh, other people give them big, big stagings. So, uh, but I see the same relationship go to towards young circus artists that are you a genius? Can you create something like Necrocious but with a rope? Because <laughs> he did something with ropes and ladders. Uh, so, how do you feel performing in Lithuania? And here I can uh, uh, say that Monica is absolutely not fond of performing here because she feel, feels always judged. So, you, well, they stayed, you just came. So, how do you feel uh, here? <laughs> but what? You see what's happening to this place? We kind of find our ways to run away, kind of, right? From this, right? Yeah. Yeah, may maybe. Maybe that's the running. Maybe, but I don't know. It's useful not in circus field only, in any field, I think. But, um, but like thinking what is circus and like why I am I circus, I have no idea yet until now. But. But there is something to do for me, like with trying to do impossible always, like how I see circus and I see this is what I try to do in a way maybe a bit more brainy, like like conceptual, like that it's totally absurd, but I push it, like I, um, and I think we are quite brave to do impossible things, like just being together and building up a new, new circus field, this, this is, Circus, circus action itself for me, somehow, which is beautiful. Yeah, and about being together, like caring about community. Yeah, I think that's why I prefer circus people. And but isn't, isn't it this, the whole idea of circus? Because if the idea is impossible, it's the, basically the reason to do it. That's kind of one of the things circus is about. And I think for the Lithuanian audience is, uh, is uh, because the festival was going on for quite a long, long time and it was a very good festival and, and we all, I think most of us were inspired by this festival but the public also got quite uh, high standards mm -hmm. because the shows are amazing, the shows and the festival brings are like amazing. So, but there's never like work in progress or like mm -hmm. halfway shows and so just I think the public just is not so it's just it's not that everybody wants to judge it's just that if you look if you watch perfect shows for 10 years then when you see like a work in progress you may be confused I think it's natural what kind of feedback are you looking for if you're looking for when presenting a work in progress and let's not uh, concentrate only on them okay because they feel attacked <laughs> Yours is, uh, let's just make sure uh, about two of you I, I have doubts. Is it work in progress or did you finish the show, both of you? Uh, I think uh, this show, what we show, uh, I don't know where it will be the end that I would say it's completely. Buy it! <laughs> 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 in Lithuanian, but uh, yeah, but it's not the end. We can say that yeah, it's a premiere, or yeah, it's a work in progress, process, and progress, I <laughs> believe. Uh, but uh, but still, it's another end, like never end, like two years. Give to us for this show maybe two years. You don't need to ask, you know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like, feel it. Here you go, two years. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. 
So after two years in Circulatia, we will show our show. <laughs> Did you talk with the head of the festival? Not yet. Yeah, okay, I'll let him know. He's busy now. Yeah, he's so much. Jogas, is your show finished? Uh, for me and Carlo, I think we decided to say that the way it's structured, it will not change. But the way it's structured, it's like 50% of <laughs> the things that happen each time and 50% that we improvise. And it depends on the so silent people. So we are developing, but not changing the structure, but like adding things. So basically people can judge you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they can. Yeah, yeah of course. Fair, fine, <laughs> okay, so back to the question for the work in progress is what kind of feedback would you like to hear if you would when you show a work in progress? And the company. <laughs> for the work in progress? I would guess anything. <laughs> anything? I think I think but negative uh, in like when you're in the process, it puts you down because like work in progress, you have your own ideas how to develop it still, and uh, kind of it's nice to hear something which will push your ideas up, so you can okay, yeah, I should work on that. Like I'm now inspired because when people say like uh, straight and it's that or that or that, then it's like ah oh, fuck, and then oh. <laughs> Yeah, if somebody yeah, says so in general it is shit, so I think it's not every really constructive feedback. <laughs> there are so many opinions, I think. Like, yeah. It depends how we did. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But at least I would expect to hear anything if we ask for feedback. Like. Yeah. Do you ask for feedback? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm not joking. <laughs> And you? Uh, one, two, three of you. I know, for me, it's, uh, as I go from physical to uh, kind of flow and then I'm going to make later, it's always interesting to hear what kind of images were created. Mm -hmm. Also, because like some of the things I'm aware of, quite many things I'm not aware of, and uh, we already had a nice talk with Carlo today. And uh, yeah, so. That's interesting because kind of I can also use something I can use later for also pushing the shot somewhere. Mm -hmm. so maybe yeah, so But also isn't it a problem or that basically we have all the circuits of D twenty here, like ninety percent of it. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> contemporary circuits. And uh, can some like, is are people entitled to entitled to tell you anything? Like, uh, people from dance or theater, or yeah, but you know, if, if you see something as a human, like, uh, just then you see something, and that's the curious, and then yeah, it's different different points of view, and also from the audience, we're also curious because it's hard to do to watch because also a person stays in basically the same place for quite a long time. But that was a bit of an experiment, and I was looking a lot at it as an experiment today. Exactly like, today, just how will it go? Will the people stay? <laughs> I wasn't sure of that. And um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they also have now. No, now I also have people from like top level, like like John Paul or something, to talk about it. Oh yeah. So for those of you who don't know, <laughs> he uh, will be a master is a master's student in talk in Sweden, which is a big achievement to all of Lithuania. <laughs> <laughs> Responsibi feel the responsibility no on your pressure. shoulders? No pressure! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, it actually, in the, all of the... And, and the guys in the office, okay, no judgment now. Now, it's, it's actually been really great, the process has now started, okay. Because it's nice that they agree, it's not like you will learn techniques. It's no, we don't. Like zero. I, I, I realized this like yesterday, I think. Oh, you were I, expecting? No, no, I didn't think about it so much, but uh, I just. Yesterday, I think I realized, like, oh, yeah, we don't have any. It's like zero technical. Super. 
Elena, what kind of feedback would be useful? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, as uh, Constantine said, it's always interesting to uh, hear what images appear, especially uh, like in the corners that I can see myself, because mm -hmm. like I, I plan a little bit, like mostly with the role, but like the, the general vibe, maybe it's some kind of detail that shouted from the corner and I'm not aware of. So, um, because I believe that dramaturgy is being aware of everything mo as much as possible, like predict what people see as much as possible, but of course it's impossible to predict everything, but it's nice to know what you're working with, that there is no hidden skeleton in the closet, I'm not aware of, so yeah, so it's always nice to, and it, actually from the audience it's even more interesting for me than from professionals, mm -hmm. because after all, shows are for the audience, and what they see is what show looks like. Yeah. So, yeah, because professional can, can say that there is like this small piece of fabric from the myth of ancient Greece, but like, nobody will get that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I will not get that. So. Yeah. Yeah, so for me it's not easy uh, because. Furniture cannot talk. Yeah, like if I'm really honestly focusing on my work, I know no one can give me feedback. No one. No one can say anything. and it becomes even a bit dangerous because I'm very curious what people like just itself like talking and saying about this so I, I'm really curious to listen and the danger zone is when I start believing ah oh, yeah that's really what I should do so more people would enjoy the show and then I slip from my thing and I always slip from my thing because <laughs> I love people enjoying it so it's always like no listen what's inside what you can give for the object so it's so I would make I think I should listen less and get less feedbacks, but I really want so it's like <laughs> <laughs> so the, the usual menu with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, question for the squad of Maria: How did you end up with her? How was the process with her? And would you listen to feedback, Evita? In my case, I don't know, I think every time, this is also not, I would say, my problem, but every time I think that, oh, people would see better from this side, and then they're like, yeah, it's not for people. <laughs> and every time I get this, and I'm like, it's not for me. So for me, as from this side, like, managing side maybe more, that I need to pick what is the audience or not, and I cannot write that the audience is off, is object, but I mean, I can write that. For me, I'm still in this place when it's very dangerous for me. I'm still thinking that, I mean, I believe that it's for objects, but it's very hard to balance between this and, for me, I would like to hear the feedback from people, but at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> Stop pushing her, what are you? Well, I'm in the middle, always, between them. Oh. Yeah, and I usually say that people would love that, but you know, we act for objects. So, I don't know. I think I, I think we have our own, like, critiques in our group. No? no? But 
like the frame explains itself, you know, like, and, and I think many of you feel it, you know, it's, it becomes performative even here, so like, that's, that's the beauty of the project, at least for me, so like you kind of, you go with it. Um, yeah, it develops itself. So feedback-wise, I think that's, like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's... Yeah, if it's pleasant feedbacks, why not? <laughs> <laughs>
thinking a lot that we need the space. Um, but now, right now, it's like a super hard thing in integration process that always like you're catching like few hours there, few hours there, few hours there, and then like maybe uh, calling each time for like more fabricas if they are free, if there is not too much people hanging around, or like uh, it's crazy, it takes out like 70% of normal rehearsals, like it's just energy you use just for that. So, and also, so right now, I'm not completely studied now, but give a bit more power in, in creating the vision and going through it because it's part of the thing. And I think, yeah, I would like to, as soon as I'm free now, put the I'll always look like I'll be open for opportunities, but basically I'm kind of thinking about circuit center. What you already do, but we're in three one. weeks, not now. Yeah, don't spoil it yet. Yeah, yeah, don't spoil it yet. But I think I can mean we need like really a creation center, not something to concentrated on classes for kids and stuff like at school, but really creation that can produce something. And I, I couldn't like push through, put a lot of my effort to, to build that place. But you are living in Sweden place. now, no? Uh, right now, I am, we're planning to... Well, we're not living in, uh, in October as planned before, but maybe in January for a few or more months. Mm -hmm. And then the next year, I don't yet know how it happened. It's the second year is totally different. Mm -hmm. And right now, everything is organized that you can be on the side, you can be online. Almost no one from the course is in Sweden. Oh. Right now. There are only two people right now. Mm -hmm. and wow. In January, we plan more plan to come. Uh, but, and the second year is more projects, residencies, uh, internship. It's totally different. I don't know how it will go yet. But anyway. It's only two years. Yeah, I'm just thinking so about the closer future. future. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be And maybe the maybe the this this master stop will give me like more I don't know brain power and in general yeah, like bravery. Yeah. Also to, to push for, for something bigger and to reach for it and to make it happen. But yeah, and of course then the integration with the this Okay, cool. Thank and you. Yeah, of course. and also yeah, we're in integration now with the uh, uh, Alex. Say so next year something new should should be uh, a joint creation of three of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are already starting. <laughs> we have already started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like next week we start residencies like the end of next week. So. Cool, very cool. So, so uh, we'll already yeah. start programming. And about yeah, next <laughs> week we'll meet everyone of Lithuania. I think there is more people happening in general. Uh, we would, I, I wouldn't wish that, okay, now you have to do even more or, or something, because what it's, it's, always, quantity, it's always also, no. I think it's kind of, <laughs> yeah, also a lot of the creation process, it's also kind of a lot of random things that come together or not come together, when it's spontaneously happening, and then it's like it goes. Right now, I think also the pandemics also pushed a lot of creations, and all the support we got. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you step, your future? Oh, <laughs> yes. I uh, a lot of colors. <laughs> yeah, actually, I go to uh, to holidays. Where my yacht? You know, it was my last. I all the time say it's my last. You know, flies. <laughs> but I will have few more, and it will be last. <laughs> Still, one day. Um, so I will go a little bit to relax. But uh, still, we wanted to continue this work and to, uh, to go deep in this, uh, in this flight and uh, pandemic gives, gives to us very different uh, minds about our uh, this performance. Because you are the only airplane that works. Yeah, and it's not working at all. So, <laughs> 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 so it's very great. Actually, this ship is very good for us, <laughs> and uh, so I think we will be an amazing star, uh, stars, we have two, <laughs> and uh, we want to create a new show, uh, but a we ship. have only, uh, we have only uh, idea with whom we want to work, 
Do you have an idea with who? Yes, we have it. But we need money. Who has money? <laughs> That's for afterwards, for ah, Q&A. Okay. okay, it's not for discussion. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. So, it's our... I don't know if it will work our plan like this, but we really want. So, if you like your mother, you know, you can uh, give money for us and we will do that. I'm nice looking job. for oh. a plan. That <laughs> is not the place. I will, I will, I will, I will. Shut up. <laughs> okay, Thank you. So, another show. Uh, Jugas. <laughs> Speaking of selling shows that are not non existent, <laughs> Jugas. <laughs> your future, Jugas. So to tell us what, what I was planning really for this year was being cut by the pandemic and then I'm just making a big discovery each day in Lithuania. I was not I was sort of highly surprised actually. <laughs> About what? Because there is like a lot of opportunities coming and for me I'm very glad that I'm very blessed with this and I think what I need to do now is just like uh, do a smart decision so uh, to pick. And see you also create the shows that you promised to do. Even that comes with a surprise. It's not that. 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 Okay, so your future is basically nobody knows it. Right. Yeah. Especially <laughs> well, there's uh, now being more focused, at least for this year, in teaching, uh, understanding more about the situation not only in Lithuania and Baltic states as well. And this came recently. And then yeah, it's somehow I become uh, somebody who is gathering the <laughs> groups of people. That is officially the most political answer we have. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was it sounded there. legit, but I didn't understand much. <laughs> <laughs> it's also not clear for me yet. <laughs> so, in the near future, we'll see. <laughs> no, I get it. What? I get it. I know some people know. I know I get it. Okay. okay, good. I know. Your future. No, I'm going to Kaunas too. Teach and meet some Lithuanian people. <laughs> <laughs> some, some Lithuanian people. And that's cool. Let's see how they react to me. <laughs> and I think we want to work on our show more. It has work to do, and I think at least I like. I would like to develop it and work with it still. And of course, apply everywhere if we get to travel someday. <laughs> yeah. To perform with it and maybe residencies, but now of course we will have amazing space where to work on it. So amazing! Let's see how it will go. Okay. Uh, for all 
<laughs> what is the relation between contemporary service and traditional service in Lithuania? Because there is quite a few like, traditional service artists who have performed quite well, they have technique, but do you try to involve them in the contemporary fields or do you have any kind of dialogue? Like most of the times when we try to talk to them, or like um, they're quite content in their field. So they have, especially, I don't know, uh, we were not talking to them during the corona, but before that, when they have like tours, they do the job, they get the money, and they have a routine. So they're not really interested in climbing out of this routine, and I think that is completely fine. This is the this is some one niche and there's another niche. Uh, we always talk about how cool it would be to like connect, but I mean if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I would be different in it, actually. Like uh, or at least they were like uh, from Chapier, like very uh -huh. traditional. Uh, I don't know how old they were, but kind of like teenagers, mm -hmm. super talented in the aerials. Uh, they were in Utrecht, this festival in Finland, and I was teaching them Japanese, and they were super into it. No, like, they are so. I think it's a bit of the mentality of a traditional service that okay, if we go for something, we go for something, yeah. and it's really cool. And yeah. yeah, I I don't know about if they are so interested about contemporary service, but at least when they were around, they seemed like very. Mm -hmm. So probably <laughs> really depends on who you ask. You ask for the children. That is uh, practicing juggling or aerials, he will be like interested in doing juggling or aerials and it doesn't really matter for him traditional or contemporary yeah. circus mm -hmm. because contemporary circus shares the same technique that comes from traditional circus. But the teaching is a bit teaching is a little bit different. Yeah. And maybe the 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 point of how people see contemporary circus is still like the this is the division that you can see, it's like people coming still are like, ah, where to keep the animals? Like, ah, so you work with lions, so <laughs> how does it work? Just, I will also comment just to answer this question, because <laughs> since the beginning of the festival, we were trying, not every year, but every couple of years, to invite them to come to see the shows, to communicate. Of course, it's not something like to for forcing them, but maybe to sending information. There were a few cases that they came, even not, we didn't know, but they came and knew afterwards. And this year also we invited. So we know them, we communicate, we try to call them. Actually, it's more like refusal for, and now it's more refusal from this side. They don't come, they don't participate. Yildas have connections, I mean, we know them. Mm -hmm. And I actually like to, just today to this German workshop, there were two, two, back, two teenagers that came to uh, Fabricus, also to the acrobatics workshop. The, the Gallery School, a few of them came from Vilnius Studio. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, we kind of try, I mean, I don't know if everybody, but we're open and they refuse why, you should ask them. But for me, it's the same, a bit the same as it was with ballet and contemporary dance. Ballet and, and, and traditional circus, they think that they're kind of, it's, it's okay what they have, it's like they are totally selfish and they don't need anything else. And they see at the beginning at least of the process, they see contemporary circuses, contemporary dance, something which is not clear what, you know, kind of amateurs. They're not on the same level because they don't do those tricks. Even they do, but not so many at, at, at once. <laughs> they, they don't, you know, juggle nine balls so, and those can juggle nine or seven. So kind of they don't participate. I think in the time it will come the same in dance, ballet, some ballet people are in or involved. But I don't know how much that will take. I don't know. Maybe it's a bit confusing still or yeah, something exactly. like it. But it depends. It needs to show. But I can say one thing that which is interesting actually, critic, which is the only I think like critic historian of contemporary of circus, which is traditional circus, who is, was also Jagger. He was attending, has been attending festivals since 10 years ago, not every year, but almost every year. This year he also has been to most of the performances, not today. And he's kind of a bit ring for now. He, maybe you don't know him, but he kind of, in a way, he sees that, he thinks that. Also, Kasparas, who is not present because he's now in, in, in the show, and one of Jagger from Alitus 
general, but Circus family, he's really getting close at an in, and I think he will be inside. Or oh, he is already inside. He's in Lithuania. Yeah, he's in Lithuania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was going. So, also, so Constantine at last. <laughs> yeah, some things to comment. Yeah. Uh, first of all, yeah, from their side, one of the big things is also sometimes in publicity or somewhere it happens like this um, traditional against contemporary. This is what like we and also we share it with the also want to don't, don't do because they feel bad. About it. Also, for example. Uh, when sometimes publicity say that okay, we have five professionals in the circus in Lithuania, yeah. and they're like, what? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Like, uh, and kind of, uh, they kind of feel like uh, from there there is a bit of uh, uh, hurt for them, but they kind of like getting uh, uh, trying, the publicity tries to like put them somewhere behind. And yeah, this is, I would like to really avoid that somehow. Right, so because it's really still circus and then different ways to the circus, and yeah, contemporary is always in the air, is it? Because that's the nature of it, everybody finds himself. And on the festival, yeah, and also it really depends on also on the people, different people in different circuses. I, I mostly communicate with number one, the newest probably. And there are some really great people, like super strong athletes and artists. I learned a lot from one of them. Uh, it's the same one that does the support. But also the old festivals that we have when the most of the circus happens is during the high season when they cannot really go. It's, it's impossible for them. Mm -hmm. They have like five, seven shows per week and well, you, you don't do this the show because this is the festival. So if you want to really more, it might it will not be easy to do the dialogue, but uh, to do the dialogue we need to more to do the festivals not during the, or something not during the season. And also, I think uh, Judas was uh, in a program of uh, one of the festivals that Shekai organized, no? Mm. At least they were in the list of the teachers. Yeah, it was in the so, <laughs> yeah, so the state, huh? it was. Yeah, I couldn't participate. So, yeah, maybe some more ways to need to understand on the other side also, like when is it also possible to communicate to, to the dialogue. That would be really helpful. And I also, uh, to sum up everything, I think this uh, question uh, raises the uh, bigger question of generalizing, uh, like the thing that you feel that we generalize your individualities into your Lithuania, and the same thing goes into uh, tradition, putting in camps traditional circus against the contemporary when it's basically different people with different views and uh, the thing that you mentioned is logical the different view views because one is a business the other one is children who are learning it's a school so they don't care what, how do you label yourself because they want to learn and we have we share in the education part it's no question we share the same values like what the Baltic Circus does uh, when they collect children and they pay nothing and they learn circus. It's the same values that the contemporary circus has. It's just, we are talking, the division is just in the end, in the result of the shows, which is, again, I would, I would suggest that let's not divide it into traditional contemporary, but it's more commercial and non-commercial because they need to survive and that shows in their shows. What do they do? They incorporate uh, show elements that are not about you know the misery of life or something. Uh, then again, we search of ways to communicate with the audience. We, we, I've never been on stage, uh, but yeah. So basically, uh, thank you all of you very much. And yeah. Comment about uh, feeling like we are Lithuanian. Well, actually, I, I love. It. I, I don't have a problem with that, especially when I go abroad or to the conference. I love saying that. I'm and what is more, I have to say that we have quite good uh, conditions here in Lithuania compared to a lot of other countries, like the funding, the different ways we can fund our work is surprisingly really well and really helpful for all the people who made it like that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just want to you know, forget that I'm an individual. No, of 
course I stand for this field, for this country, and for the, this like this community. I just think that the ba balance inside is very healthy. Like yeah. you, you need to have this balance inside, which, what is expected from you and what you need to love. On that super positive note, which is absolutely real, uh, and that is how we all feel. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for creating. Thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you for uh, being interested in circus and spread the word. And next year, let's hope we will not fit into one day. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, and we can continue as circus people to talk individually and share experiences. Thank you very much. Nobody moves. Yeah, it's on the screen, but I mean, he's not actually lecturing. He's but they're dead already. <laughs>